What's up everybody, Kwame here, back again with another video, and I'm in front of the camera today because I'm doing a little behind the scenes tour of my studio and kind of an update on the channel and things like that. Uh, I haven't put out a video in a while and I wanted to put one out tonight is 9.46 or something like that at night, so I'm a little tired as you can see the bags under my eye, but I'm going to power through this anyways and show you what uh show you my my studio where I record stuff and kind of talk about the channel and the goals for the channel for the rest of the year and things like that. I, I know I'm supposed to look at the camera right here, but I keep looking at myself. So if I'm looking over here, I apologize. So first of all, the channel. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, even though I'm a small YouTube channel, I really do appreciate all the comments and the people who subscribe and like the videos and things like that. That's super awesome. You guys rock. Second of all, the channel is actually going to change. Well, the name is going to change, but the content will pretty much stay the same. Uh, right now, it's called Affordable Tech. And when I started the channel, I was going to make like tech review type of things, uh, phones, uh, tablets, whatever, you know, tech, but I've really started getting into audio. So it's been more audio, like headphones, speakers, um, and I even have like a surround sound system, like a home theater system coming up soon. Uh, and so the name is going to change to Affordable Hi-Fi, same as the website. So it's going to be Affordable Hi-Fi instead of Affordable Tech, but it will still be the same, same layout. I will try to, I really want to up the video um, production and like some of the b-roll shots and stuff like that so it's just not me pointing down all the time but that's for the future uh if you can hear that's the furnace going off right now i don't know why but it's you know summer almost or fall anyways uh so that's the big change happening uh i probably won't happen at the time of this video it's getting released but in the near future like in the next week of this video being released the name should be affordable hi-fi instead of affordable tech uh so that's the really big news about the the channel and i want to give you a tour of my studio because this is really the first time i've had like a dedicated space for pictures and video so as some of you know i do uh for a day job i produce small videos for uh, people here in denver and i also shoot stock uh, pictures and so I finally have a space where I can do that is not shared or anything like that uh, so I'm really excited but this will change because as you'll see this is like the very beginning and so I kind of want to just get this on record just to show so I have something of what it looked like when I first started and hopefully if I grow bigger and the space changes show what it looks like afterwards here we go all right, so this is the desk, and I will apologize right now because the audio probably doesn't sound as good as it normally does because I'm not wearing a microphone or anything like that. I'm just recording it straight to the phone. So this is the desk, and normally you guys see it down like this. Uh, this is where I do the product reviews and everything like that. But this is what I'm looking at when I'm not recording videos or when I am recording videos. I usually have uh, the iPad over here. Um, I use this sometimes to look up links and things like that but really my iPad is what I use for editing all my videos now uh, I use an app called Luma Fusion I believe I'll show you here video Luma Fusion it's not cheap it's twenty dollars but it's a really like it's probably the best uh, app to edit video on the iPad or iOS uh, I do use Adobe Premiere uh, my big boy machine upstairs for like client work and things like that. I used to do that for these videos, but for the type of videos I do, Luma Fusion is awesome. Uh, moving over, I have my Acer Chromebook, which will be replaced very soon because as much as I use this thing, it is really hard to use a two gigabytes of RAM uh, when I'm opening multiple tabs, trying to respond to people. And this is like my day-to-day -day computer. Like I like Chrome OS, I, I think it's great. I do use Windows upstairs for editing and things like that, but for like day-to-day -day work, 90% um, of what I do is on the web, so I just use this and I really like it. Moving over, I have a Galaxy Note 3, which is really just a small tablet for me, so if I just want to bring something to read, like 
to buying a Kindle. I just have this. I read that. Flipboard. Uh, you know, use it to stream music. Things like that. Even videos up to our Chromecast upstairs. So I know Note 8 is out, but I like using uh, Note 3 still. Um, back here, I have a. Let's see here. I have a 5.1 surround system, and I will be doing a review on these guys. I have three right here, one right over there, and another one right there. And then the subwoofer, which is down here. And this thing is pretty cool because it is Bluetooth, but you can also use an SD card, um, auxiliary line out, and it has an FM radio. So really cool. Uh, you know, down here, it really doesn't make sense to have it, but I do like it. I might go upstairs in our... Um, our, our family room, game room, which we just reconfigured, so it might go up there, but I do like having the music down here, because when I'm doing other stuff, not at the desk, and I'm playing music, it's nice to have these speakers uh, playing the music, and the subwoofer gets very loud, it comes with this remote control, again, I will do a full video on all of this, but really cool, really nice uh, surround sound system. Now, right now, these speakers are actually being are on top of other speakers. So I have two <laughs> Trinwoo uh, X-based speakers right now that I, I'm not using currently other than being uh, stands for other speakers. But I am picking up a new device coming very shortly that I will be using these and testing them out for. But that is for another video. Uh, the lights that I have set up here are these two soft boxes uh, for the fill lights. So if I turn them off, and so I have the switch underneath here. Please don't say anything about my cable management. I know it's not the greatest, but I have the switch up here, down here. So when I come in, I can hit this and it turns off these lights. Let's hit the switch again. And the lights come back on. Uh, I have daylight bulbs and um, other colored bulbs in there too. I just like that look um, and it goes well with the two other daylight bulbs that I have do hanging down right now. Uh, I plan on in the future having four or f six of these um, bulbs hanging down with like um, a, a nice globe on them so it gives me a really nice diffuse light and then getting rid of these two big things because I like having the space open so I can kind of just walk in between where I'm going from you know I'm going from here over to some other place in the in the studio uh, you can see here just a drawer full of stuff uh, normally this stuff is not in there but I'm working on something right now so it's down in there Headphones, earbuds go in here, and this one is lights. And as you can see, I have some earbuds for a review coming up of some of my favorite earbuds so far for the year. These are four of the five. That's a video coming up in the future. And then over on this side, I use these um, C clamps, I think they're called not C clamps, I forgot the name of these, but I use these clamps to actually keep the mat onto the desk. So this is just an Ikea desk, but then the mat is a yoga mat that I picked up for $7. And I like this mat because I wanted something that would have contrast to not only my skin, but like products that I'm working on. So I can put this here and you can actually see it very clearly. And for $7, I can get other colors and change it out when I feel like it's a, uh, if I get an orange one, which I think I might pick up, and then I can put that down and roll it out, and it's great. Uh, because it's a yoga mat, it can get wet, and I can just wipe it off, be done. I also use these little clamps here to hang um, headphones on. So right now, these are the Aki um, noise-canceling earbuds that I absolutely love. And this is another version that I might do a review on. They're not Aki, but it's like a knockoff brand. Um, I've never heard of them. I haven't even used them or even started a review on them, so we'll see. And then, even though I love the iPad, I do use a notebook when I'm drawing out or writing down ideas. Uh, this is for a cart I'm thinking of building, but you'll see that later. 
So now we'll go over here to the this side of the studio. And this is where I have all the headphones. So as you can see, this is uh, the speaker in that five points round sound. And then another clamp with the super lux on here. Uh, and then headphones. I got these uh, stands off of Amazon. I think they're like $7. Really good stands. And I put the headphones that I use the most on here. Um, and then that way I can just grab them uh, and go. There are actually five, but another one is in the backpack. So, you know, when I want to just change it out, I just put one of these on there and I'm good to go. This is the way that I record YouTube videos. So I clamp this onto my desk and then I use an iPhone 6 clamp it in here and that's how I record videos uh, and then I just put a lavalier mic onto the iPhone uh, the iPhone is actually upstairs but yeah that's how I record videos with an iPhone it's pretty straightforward this is just a um, monopole it actually was a selfie stick I believe I can't remember I think it was a selfie stick that I bought and then I was able to mount a um, ball joint onto the selfie stick and then put this on top of the ball joint. You could put the clamp for the iPhone straight onto here, but then you would see this part. And so adding this little extra pushed it out far enough to where you don't see it. Down here, and excuse me for all the shake in the video, headphones and speakers. So small speakers over here and a couple more speakers down here. And then all these are filled with headphones except for this and these two and this one but everything else have headphones in them it's a lot of headphones uh last i checked between the headphones like on ear and over the ear headphones and the uh earbuds i think i'm at like 55 or 60 devices it's a lot but this is why i like doing these reviews because i can test a lot of these things out tell you guys what's crap it's not crap. Some of them I don't even do reviews on. I don't even think I did a review on one of these. Because they were just so bad. I was like, it's not even worth reviewing. Uh, but I do like to keep them around. So that way if I do get like a new pair of headphones. And I want to test them out against like other noise canceling headphones per se. And I can just look at them and say, okay, like this is noise canceling headphones. I want to test them out. Um, these are on or over ear but really nice Benoit's headphones. And so I want to test these out with other headphones and things like that. So I keep them around so I can test them against other headphones. Uh, more storage over here. So this is just storage and then um, light modifiers that I have for my photography part. And then over on this side, we have I don't know what you call it, um, a case so I can put, you know, stuff in there. I can, it's late, I apologize. Backpack for the video photography work. And then back here is how I have everything put in there, um, set up. Again, cable management, don't judge me. I, I'm working on it. Uh, these floors are foam and it really helps with the sound because as you can see this is just a basement that's unfinished so noise you know my voice when i'm talking just goes all over the place but having this uh, insulation down here and the foam blocks down here actually help in dampening the noise even the yoga mat helps so that's really good um as you know once i build this out a little bit more i'll probably build some of that stuff into it so this is and we'll go over on this side this is really the video setup for of the videos I do. Um, and I also just come down here to work, like if I want to write or something like that. It's really nice. Again, a lot of this is cleaned up, so I usually don't have all this over here. But it's really nice. I just put on some music from the iPad, and I can write in the morning or uh, just hang out and think of um, videos to do, write re reviews up for the website, which is going to be updated a lot more. Uh, and things like that. So now let's move over to the uh, photography side. So this is where I do video uh, photography shoots of what I'm 
recording. And as you can see, it's really from here, right over here. And it's pretty simple too. This is just a uh, cheap desk I picked up at, uh, I think Goodwill, a couple dollars. And I covered it with a uh, uh, bed sheet and created this little box here for out of PVC pipes for $9, cut them down. And then I mounted this broken softbox on top and so it gives light that comes down here but then it reflects off the back and then I can put other uh, pieces of foam core around here and then you get a nice soft white light that is perfect for product photography. And you can see this is a speaker that I will be doing a review on very shortly and so that's really cool and it's great because i can set up the camera right here and start taking pictures of these things or other things that people send me to take pictures of uh, over on the side here a little holding area where i like to put cameras uh lenses and things like that that i'm not using um so it's just a little holding table light stands and um tripods things like that are kept over on the side from storage with like clamps and things and then these uh lights are what i use a lot uh, in the product photography for um clamping onto the side of the tables they're great you know you get them at home depot a couple dollars really cool same with the clamps uh, they're all like 99 cents and it's just great to have uh, i really do like having this space because then i can just get them out the way and uh you know they're not on the floor or anything like that moving over to this side this is where the drawings for the desk that you saw over on that piece of paper this is where that workbench will be and it's really more of like a holding place because right here, here you can see devices or things i got to do reviews on plus other things that are coming in and so i like to have a place where i can put it and i kind of have a, a a spot for it all and then have some more storage built down here and so yeah that's the 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 setup chair for when i just want to come and chill i will be getting a couple other little pieces here like a stool for i'm shooting uh pictures so i don't have to be on my knees or you know crouching down i can just sit on a nice stool um so i will be getting that the cord that is powering these light boxes it also powers this light box so i just unplug it from down there and run it back over to right here um yeah so that's the photography part of the studio so there you go that is the studio um really two studios in one so the video side the photography side but it's all one big open space which i really like again thank you guys for checking out this video and all the other videos and subscribing to the channel uh you know again i'm a small youtuber um so i don't have a very expensive set with like mac pros and all this stuff i just work with what i have uh the space is really inspired by like casey Neistat, as i'm sure everyone knows but his space is like very functional and that's what i'm trying to get this space to be so i can come down here and feel relaxed and i can know okay right now i'm in creative mode and i can write update the website, take pictures, shoot a video, whatever. I can do it down here and not have to stress because I know where everything is and it's just laid out perfectly for me. Speaking of the website, please check it out. It's been updated uh, in the last couple days. And so now what you're gonna find is I have my review areas, but I also have a deals at section. So I, will, I try to go out and find some of the best deals of the day. It's not every day, but I try to update it uh, every day like you know really good deals I find on Amazon or other sites and link them there so you can find uh, you know really affordable priced audio gear uh, on that site and that's why I'm changing the name to affordable high fly because I don't think you know you have to pay a ton of money to get really good um, audio quality you know I'm, I'm gonna start a new series like um, I haven't decided like the name of it but you know, going to like pawn shops or thrift stores and seeing if I can find like a receiver, uh, head uh, headphones or speakers and things like that. And you know, really like building a like home studio on a budget, uh, you know, 5.1 surround sound on a budget, things like that, like things on a budget because I see a lot of like really expensive 
gear reviews, but I don't see anything for like people who are just getting started. And that's what really motivated me to start this, like really focus on audio. Uh, because, you know, I, as I'm an adult with an adult job, but, you know, I, I feel like at this point, I, you know, I just want to up my audio game without spending, you know, crazy amounts of money, you know, five, six thousand dollars on a surround sound set where you can, you know, find a good three hundred dollar surround sound set and, you know, and it sounds great. And for a lot of people that works and that's all you need where then there's like, you know, $500 level and things like that. And so I really want to focus on the, you know, 100 to $300 range for headphones and um, home audio gear and everything in between. Like, and, you know, really start branching into DAX, uh, amplifiers, things like that. You know, but again, on the affordable side. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for listening to the, you know, the rambling and the the kind of vision that I see the channel going down and the name change, which will be affordable hi-fi in a very short time. Like I'll maybe put a little video saying new name, same content, things like that. But you know, next week I should have that changed over and with new artwork and stuff like that. Thank you for, as always, for watching the video, subscribing to the channel. If you do want to support me, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, that does help me, you know, just motivates me to make more videos. I do have a goal of making, getting 100 videos out uh, by the end of the year. So I'm at like 71 videos right now. This will be number 72. So I will start cranking out more videos, but still good quality uh, videos. Uh, and so I look forward to that. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye or night, whatever it is. See you later. Bye.